Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Zobit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today, we're checking out Airships Conquer the Skies, which I got to be honest is probably uh, probably a game that I didn't really be uh, that I wasn't really expecting to play. Uh, certainly, because it's been out for a couple of years. However, uh, the big old the big old co-op and conquest update has just dropped and as ever I want to showcase exactly what this game has to offer and honestly what a fantastic amount that it does have to offer uh, But anyway, I am delighted uh, to check this one out uh, So this is a strategy game all about I guess naval combat is probably the best way of putting it However, it is so much more than that and this is one of the ways that you can play uh, the game now Of course, there is uh, there's a sort of default skirmish mode that you can play through uh, But I think and I hope by the end of this uh, episode You will believe that this is the best way the conquest mode uh, is the best way to play this game Now there's a lot of stuff happening on the screen right now And there's a lot of stuff that I need to break down for you as ever, I will do my very best to, to, to explain exactly what the heck is happening and, of course, what is brand new in the update. So the first thing to cover in the update uh, that I won't actually be showcasing in this video, but you can now do, uh, cooperative play. It's it's brand new. It's brand new. It's very, very cool. And um, I hope to test it out at some point, but today is not that day. Anyway, uh, this is like the grand strategy mode of this game. As I say, Skirmish is also available. Um, we start uh, in this in this little in this little border here. Uh, Orbital Potato is the name of the city. I, I didn't really I didn't really plan that one out, but that's okay. We've got a couple of other little cities in our in our area. Uh, these cities raise uh, raise a certain amount of money each and every turn for us, which is kind of nice. Very, very, very happy with that. Although it says that I've got 65, 65 base income. So uh, yeah, 15, 12, what's what's that? Like just shy of hundred, give or take, hundred income over the course, or 78 income, there you go, uh, over the course of uh, of each and every month, which is very, very cool. Now, this game is all about building incredibly large, massive flying structures and uh, running them into, running them into to your enemy, and the big old update adds a whole bunch of diplo diplomacy features to uh, to conquest mode, which is very, very cool indeed. So what do we start with here? What do we, what have we got going on? There's a trade hub, the commercial center of the old empire. It's great fairs still attract merchants from all over. Uh, plus 40% income from trade treaties. That's probably going to be uh, be quite handy. Uh, we've got a city here, which as I've already said, we can upgrade if we want to. Um, I don't particularly want to do that at this moment in time, uh, but definitely something that we're, we're going to want to consider. Given that we have a capital uh, city here, there's a couple of different options uh, as to what we have available to us, which is good, and we'll definitely be uh, utilizing all of those options over the course of this episode. And we've also got Okut, which is, again, we can build some, uh, some other bits and bobs. So, um, what have we got going on? Well, I'll tell you exactly what we've got going on. Uh, we've got ourselves, we've got ourselves a, a bit of an airship here. Uh, can I view this airship uh, up at large? Yes, I absolutely can. Cool. All right, this is what the heart of this game is all about. It is about building massive, crazy airships, and we're gonna do we're gonna do that. We're gonna do that over the course of uh, of this episode as well, and we're gonna try and build uh, build a good number in order to conquer the skies. That's right. Anyway, uh, this is the sort of one that we start with. I don't think it's, I don't think it's altogether that great, but it does have a couple of components. We've got some uh, grenades at the back, some ammo stores. Uh, we've got some, some crew quarters. We've got coal store, suspendium chamber, and a small propeller. Yeah, this is like very, 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 very small. And to be honest, what I would really like to do is I would immediately like to design my own ship and then probably, probably build that. I don't know. Let's call this, let's call this ship the, uh, the chaos of the skies. Excellent. The chaos of the skies. And we'll sort of walk through the process of designing a ship and then we will see it in combat, hopefully. Anyway, uh, we can build different components. The propeller component allows us to uh, increase or decrease our movement speed. Uh, we've got the suspendium chamber, which is actually very, very important uh, to give us a service ceiling. This will all become apparent. Just, just roll with me for a bit here, folks. We've got corridors, corridors with ladders. Uh, I'm going to get a corridor in here. Basically, we need to make sure at all times that everything is connected, uh, everything is connected up together. Because if it's not, then you are going to have some, uh, some problems. So everything needs to be connected up together. We'll get some corridors in there. Not necessarily certain that that's what we're going to end up sticking with. But, uh, but for now, that's okay. Corridor with ladder. There we go. So we want to build a pretty decently large ship. We've got a decent amount of money to start with, and I want to get a ship immediately under construction. So we're going to try and do that. Build two quarters. 
uh, you know, areas for people to people to chill out. Plonk that down in there. We've already got a bridge. I built that up at the top. We'll get a repair bay. Um, and then we'll get some uh, some cannons. And I must be honest, this is where this, uh, this game really, really shines. It has a tremendous amount of customizability and... Uh, and ability to customize ships in pretty much any way that you want. Wow, the music really decided to just go absolutely bonkers there, didn't it? <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. We don't mind bonkers music. I love bonkers music. Okay, how is this uh, How is this looking? It's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad. I don't really think that all of this corridor down at the bottom is strictly necessary, but, uh, but there you go. Uh, do I want to throw in anything else? Grape shot cannon? We'll get a grape shot cannon in there. Why not? Uh, a Bombay. I would actually like some Bombays. There we go. Get some Bombays. Some Bombays over there. Kinetic Bombs, Saw Blade. Ooh, goodness gracious me. That is a nasty, nasty piece of, uh, a nasty piece of equipment. I don't think I'm gonna, I don't think I'm gonna get a, a, a Saw Blade on that quite yet. I also don't think that we need necessarily anything else here. I think this is a about as decent as we can really anticipate uh, a first ship. Uh, the thing that's worth noting, by the way, just going to reposition these these bombays whilst I'm whilst I'm at it, is that we can constantly evolve uh, our ship designs, and that's what we're going to do. That is absolutely categorically what we're going to do. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna um, uh, I can't do that over there, can I? Yeah, it's fine. Move this around a little bit. Some rifles, some rifles in here. Okay, this is a pretty, this is a pretty comprehensive, this is a pretty comprehensive uh, ship. I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. Uh, aerial charges facing upwards? No. You know what? Let's not, let's not go, let's not go too crazy. Uh, armor, let's get some armor. We do have a cost limit, as I sort of uh, alluded to earlier. We really do. Steel walls. Yeah, this is not going to be... Not going to be a super cheap vessel to build, but the chaos of the skies will be will be chaotic for a variety of reasons. I am pretty, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with this to be honest. Um, can we make it red? I would like it to be red. Red is the color of chaos. Let's do this. Okay, and then let's get into a skirmish pretty much as soon as we possibly can, because I am I am very 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 interested in doing this. Right, chaos of the skies. We'll save it. Let's go. Chaos of the skies. Boom. We'll get it saved. Happy, happy, happy days. And then we're going to leave. Now, okay, next thing that we probably want to do is we want to get ourselves a built ship. And we are going to see if we can try and build the Chaos of the Skies. What's the issue? I don't want to... Why can we not build Chaos of the Skies? What's the issue here? Supply required nine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to, I need to change that, actually. Hold on. Let's go design... Uh, not the land ship. Goodness gracious me. We'll get to the land ship. Don't you, don't you worry... Don't you worry at all. Uh, design ship, open design, chaos of the skies. Yeah, we need to get some wooden supply hatch. We have uh, nine supply missing, and we'll fix that right now. There we go. That should get more than enough supply for us. And we'll just build a little uh, corridor with ladder. There we go. That should be fine. That should be fine. And what about this on the top? That is pretty chaotic. That is, that is massive chaos energy, but I kind of love it. I really kind of love it, actually. And you know what? Now that I think about it, why don't I just double down and get myself some more musketmen up here? There we go. Look at that. Okay, now we've got some real chaos energy going. Okay, Chaos of the Skies, overwrite, excellent, and now we're going to get it built. Okay, so uh, it's going to take three months and two days to actually build, and then we will have our first proper airship. As I say, we have a we have a fake little airship here, and uh, that's okay. Uh, we're not too, you know, we're not going to be, we're not going to be utilizing it too, too much, uh, but we will be using it in future. Okay, I really want to get into some combat because it's been like 10 minutes and, uh, and that's kind of a shame. Uh, what I also would like to do is, is get to grips with some of the diplomacy options. So, um, looking around the map, there's a couple of uh, there's a couple of empires that are kind of nearby that I would like to attack. We want to try and expand our territory as much as possible, uh, so we're going to do that. I tell you what, why don't we move ourselves? Why don't we solve, we'll move ourselves over to there? Uh, we'll go into quarter time speed, and we'll let the game sort of play out. And whilst that's happening, uh, let's see if we can try and get ourselves some new research. Now, our research, I believe, has also been reworked as part of 
as part of this update. It's very, very cool. Uh, what would we like to, what would we like to research? Advanced rockets? I mean, what do we, what do we, what do we care about here? What do we care about? Explosives? Do we care about anything in particular? Reinforced wooden armor for our ships, better weaponry, better suspension chambers, 40% income from trade treaties, plus 5% town income. Sure, I'll actually, I'll research that. Why not? We'll, um, we'll do this one. Right. We'll leave, we'll leave that on at the moment. Uh, the other thing that we need to bear in mind is that we can actually adjust our, we can actually adjust what we're doing. Uh, in our empire. It is it is pretty darned important to make sure that we are in a decent place. And uh, I, th I mean, I think we are. I think we are in a decent place. I'm not too, I'm not too displeased with, uh, with where we, with where we are and what we're doing. Uh, diplomacy wise, this is all brand new. We're going to have to get to grips with this. Um, I would like to declare war on one of my, one of my, one of my neighbors. I mean, I don't think it particularly matters uh, who we declare war on. We're at peace with everyone. I don't think there's any alliances yet. There's no alliances at all. There's giant spiders over there. Jeez Louise, I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to get to grips with giant spiders. No siree. I think we're probably going to attack uh, Dagger... Dagger Guild up here. Um, not for any particular reason. Although, that being said... Uh, Hypoborea actually looks a little bit more... It looks a little bit more weak. Which I kind of like the look of. Why don't we... Yeah, why don't we move over here? Diplomatic offer packed from Lerori, Loria, down down south. Um, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with the defensive pact. So we're gonna come to each other's aid if uh, if we need to. That's fine. I'm very, very, uh, very okay with that. Yep, that is fine. Chaos of the skies. We're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, research is happening. It's gonna it says it's gonna take a year. There is a way that I can speed up research, but I can't for the life of me remember how to do it. It's not in, not in menu, not in, not in here. Oh, they might have changed it actually. You can choose research technologies to unlock new modules uh, by building city upgrades. Ah, so they've changed it so you don't just spend money on. Uh, you don't just spend money on it now. You get yourself you get yourself some city upgrades. So why don't we look at some city upgrades? Fleet Academy. Plus 10% weapon accuracy and fire rate, or a port, a port for large merchant uh, and fl fishing sheep. Uh, sure, let's do that. Let's get the port built. Same with an Ockert. Should we look at getting a market? That's going to be good. Let's build a market. Then we'll build a port. Field station plus five research. Okay, I see. Well, let's build a field station up, uh, up here. I guess it becomes more and more expensive each and every upgrade. Uh, act. Where is this? Arctum? Where's Arctum? On the map here. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know where they are. Where is this? Pause. Diplomatic Arctum. I have absolutely no idea where Arctum is. Oh, it's up here. Um... I'm afraid I'm gonna say no to that one, bud. I don't know if that's gonna make you like me uh, a little bit, a little bit less, a little bit more. I guess we'll see. Yeah, as I say, I want to deploy the diplomacy, but I want to get, I want to get some warring done first. I want to get some warring done. Right. So we got our, we got our airship over here. We've got our chaos of the skies, which is looking good, if I'm not mistaken, is built now, which is wonderful. It is. It is literally loading up supplies as we speak. And then I think it's probably worth us moving Chaos of the Skies over to a cut. And we can see. We can see what we can do. Beautiful. Now, the important thing to remember is that airships can fly. Uh, but we can also build ourselves. We can also build ourselves land ships. Now, we have only got a certain amount of money here. 1,350. If I want to build a land ship. Uh, oh, my lordy. Look at this. Look at this. Dorsal turret is not available. Okay, we need to do some more. We need to do some more research. Get a strider? I mean, we could build. We could build this. Two weeks and three days. You know what? Build it. Let's absolutely build it. Build it as strider, sure. Let's do it. Okay, so we'll build the strider. That's going to take, uh, take a little while because the port is going to be built first. Then the strider is going to get built. 
But I'm, I'm fine to just uh, explore all of the different options that we have. Now, um, I think I would like to deploy... Well, actually, I tell you what, we can send our spy across first. We'll send our spy across first. We can see what's going on here. Um, I don't think that we're necessarily going to be given uh, that much interesting information. They've got Katano. Where's Katano? They've got a defensive pact with Katano. What about, uh, what about these people? These people don't have a defensive pact with anyone. They're weaker than me. Uh, that's good to know. That's good to know. I tell you what, why don't we go... Why don't we go and attack up north? The thing that sort of, um, concerns me about attacking up north is that we're gonna have to deal with... Is it gonna, we're gonna have to deal with attacks from multiple angles in the future. Not necessarily right now, but, uh, but we will in the future. Right, how did our... How did our, uh, how did our spy do? They can view the city, or they can view view what's going on in the spy network. Not very much, I gotta be honest. That is very, very, very boring. Right, let's, let's send diplomatic offer trade treaty. Ooh, your income is increased by 7% plus 2% from trade hub of theirs. Their income is increased 5% of yours. You know what? I'm actually gonna do this. Um, I did say that I was going to attack my south, but it looks like we're going to be attacking in the north uh, now, which is absolutely fine. Right, let's move both of our airships up to Strukul, Strukul Cud, and then let's move into Ion, Ionessa. Yes, absolutely. Let's do this. So we need to keep on spending money. We need to keep on building. We need to try and build up our income base. As I say, 1466 plus 65 a month. We've also got reputation uh, points at the moment. I don't really care about reputation points at the moment. Let's supply up and then let's move out. It's going to take us three weeks. I think we can do that. Uh, this is the date over here as well. I know there's a lot to take on board, but trust me, this this is a this is a heckin a heckin good uh, good game. Right, what would we like to do? Sufficient supply to attack, sufficient supply to return, two supply per week, airship supplies fourteen, distance supply, total supply cost. Okay, or we could be siege. Um, you don't have a you don't have a. A defensive pack, do you? No, you don't, you sucker. Send an insult. Is it is it worth it? Um, no, I don't. We could make them an ultimatum in advance. Demand Tanner City. I mean, there's absolutely no way that they're gonna. Yeah, there's absolutely no way that they're gonna. There's no way that they're going to actually go for it. I think we're going to have to just declare war on them, uh, which, of course, we're going to do. Uh, and I'm looking forward to doing that. There we go. Let's get you moved across there. And then I think I'd like to get this entire this entire group three weeks and three days to, to maximally supply up. You know what? I think we kind of just chance it. I think we kind of just chance it. Strukul, Strukul Cud, um, I would like to maybe see if we can get something else in here. Market, let's get, I mean, anything that gives us money, right, is going to give us, it's going to give us more, more cash. Um, we can get you actually to go back. No, I didn't want you to go back there. You go back there. Uh, I was, I was going to say this, this walker is quite happy to, to stick around and just get more supplies and whatnot whilst we're waiting. But you know what? It's time. Let's go. I'm going to declare war on Dagger Guild. Just going to make one last, one last check to make sure that they don't have... They've got a non-aggression pact, but they don't have a defensive pact. And that sucks to be them, I'm afraid. Uh, we're going to declare war. And is that, is that going to mean a negative penalty for me? Uh, potentially. Might ruin my reputation, but I guess we will, I guess we will see. Right. So let's move everyone in to Ionessa. Uh, what have my what have my opponents got here? Trade treaty from Abton Days. That's over here. Uh, we're gonna say yes, absolutely. Anything for more money, I will take. Ionessa, let's go, let's go, let's go. They've got a whoa. That's not gonna be there before I arrive, though, is it? Hopefully not. Let's have a little look see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Okay, automatic combat resolution uh, defeat. Whoa, is that the case? I feel like that shouldn't be the case, but hey-ho. Right, what have the enemies got? They have got a walker, uh, and they've also got a flying airship. Uh, we're going to fight manually here. Uh, of course we're going to. I'm going to move you around, and I'm going to move you around. And this is obviously the, the chaos. Chaos of the skies is clearly, uh, by the way, the better the better equipped better equipped ship 
I don't even know if this ship has any weapons. I didn't even... I didn't even know. Uh, but anyway, um, here's the thing. We're now in combat. This is gonna go... This is gonna go well. This is gonna go very, very well. There's a couple of different actions that we can undertake. Uh, good, we do have weapons on this ship, apparently. We've got grenades. I did check that, actually, believe it or not. Anyway, a couple of different actions that we can that we can undertake. Direct control, that's uh, also added brand new in the uh, in this patch. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, we can't actually move at the moment, but we can move. We can ram, we can ground, we can target a specific ship, focus on shooting, etc. Uh, so what we basically need to do is we need to think about where to best position our ship, and we need to give uh, communications to our ship in order to in order to best position it. Uh, this walker, um, we're going to make sure that we move it back and into position. And then we're mostly going to focus on... We're mostly going to focus on... Mostly going to focus on conducting a campaign of terror. Of terror and... Uh, we need to flip this here. Campaign of terror and nonsense with our big, uh, with our big ship in the skies. Uh, it's going to get a little bit crazy, not going to lie little crazy. There we go. But I actually have no doubt in my mind that we will be able to win. There we go. Uh, there's also the city to bear in mind. There we go. And flip you up and there. Right. There's also the city to bear in mind. So whilst we're fighting this walker, uh, which is going to take a lot of effort to get through because it is a big tanky boy. But I think we can manage, to be honest, because we're dropping bombs like crazy. There we go. Uh, we've also, as I say, got the city at the other side of the map over here, which we will, which we will, we will consider. Move you over to here. And let's go and engage. Yeah. There we go. Continue to engage over there. And we'll continue to fight continue to fight here. Now, the good thing about this walker is... There we go. Move you a little bit. Uh, the good thing about this walker that we're against here, or this land ship even, I should say, is that it is not incredibly effective at shooting upwards. So that's giving me the prime opportunity to really just go to town, which is great. I am acutely aware, though, is that we are limited in ammo, we're limited in repair, we're limited in coal, and we're limited in the number of crew that we have. So we need to be very, very careful about how we're how we keep on top of things, and we need to make sure that we, we don't lose. That's, uh, that would be a problem. Uh, this walker has taken a big old hit, as you can see. Uh, six crew missing. We do have ammo, um, which is great. Uh, we can abandon. I don't really want to abandon at the moment. I'm quite content just to let this, to let this bombing operation happen here at a particularly slow rate. I know it's a bit, uh, a bit anticlimactic. Okay, there we go. It's been officially knocked out, which is great. Let's go and see what's happening over here. This is a complete waste of time. There's no reason to still be dealing with that. Let's go and see if we can take the city. Let's go and see if we can take the city. Again, we could have besieged the city, but there was no no reason to. Let's go move the walker out. Move it over there. Should have no issues. I don't think that you're going to be able to flip either. Yep. And we'll continue to move you out. Flip you around and we'll get you to attack. We'll do some bombing runs of the city. Marvelous. Brilliant. And as soon as we arrive with this third ship as well, there we go. I have no doubt. I have no doubt. Look at that. I have no doubt that we're going to win and we're going to win handily. Look at that. Port conquered. Uh, all three of our ships survived. Importantly, the Chaos of the Skies, which did a fantastic job. A really, 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 really good job. I am very, very, very happy with how that went. Uh, we destroyed both of their vessels, and the and the three uh, the three ships surrendered, which is which is good and very, very, very noteworthy. Very, very happy with that. Okay, so one fight down. I got to be honest. Um, there's a couple of lessons learned there. Um, we could definitely do with maybe equipping the. Oh, look at that! Our borders have just completely changed. How excellent is that? Um, we could definitely look at maybe redesigning the uh, the chaos of the skies. But I think all in all, I don't think that we could be too displeased with how with how that went. Very very nice indeed. Right, what do we want to do in terms of conquest? A slow and gentle transfer of power that leaves the city mostly intact. Takes five months, one devastation, 20 unrest, lingering for a year. A brutal takeover. 
Pillaging. I think I want a gentle takeover. I don't think that we want to end up causing any extra any extra hassle. I want my reputation to remain to remain quite high. It looks like it looks like Drassil was uh were they coming to to their I don't think they were coming to the aid of anyone actually now that I think about it, but hey ho. Uh Dagger Guild repels pirates. Well, I got to be honest, do we still have supply? We do still have supply. It's going to take us two months and three days to get this to get this all back up and running. However, if I was to run everything back to here, yeah, let's run everything back to there. I mean, it's going to take bleeding ages. Oh, that's a quarter speed. Yeah, run everything back, run everything back here, and then we'll we'll see if we can try and maybe uh, go for go for the send the spy over here. Yeah, we'll see if we can try and go for the knockout blow. Non-aggression pact with Opad. Where's Opad? Opad's over there. Uh, sure, I'll say yes. That's fine. We're infiltrating the city at the moment. Uh, I would love to build another Chaos of the Skies. I think we have enough to, to do it. We need to be careful, though. I do like this trade hub as well. That's nice. Right, let's get the... I tell you what, get the Chaos of the Skies to go... Here. Uh, no, cancel. No, 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 I just want one. I just want one ship. I just want one ship to go. There we go. One ship to go. Sending one ship. 20 supplies or surplus fleet can be sent along. Uh, as much as possible. Send as much as possible with the... With the Chaos of the Skies. Yeah. So then we're gonna let these two... We're gonna... These two ships have the eight supply from Orbital Potato which is a terrible name. Orbital Potato City. There we go. What about that? Beautiful. Orbital Potato City. And we'll let you get the rest of your supplies in Stuckel land or whatever. And that'll be fine. How many How many supplies are in Ionessa? It's actually four. Tell you what, we could do with getting... Sure. We could do with getting the airship to head out over here and just guard just in case. But that's okay. Right, so we're working on Autarky, uh, which is plus 5% city and town income. That's great. Free trade, 40% income from trade treaties. I really like that idea. Uh, we've managed to research that, by the way, super, super quickly. So no real complaints on that uh, on that front. We've got a spy that's active at the moment. That's good. And we're going to leave him here for a little while. And uh, we're going we're gonna to see if we can try and yoink up see if we can try and yoink up our visibility of what's going on. Do I want some better weapons? I feel like maybe I want some better weapons. But you know what? I actually don't. I just want money. Money is going to allow me to buy better weapons, right? Okay. Let's get you resupplied. It'll take us three weeks. You're ready to rock and roll. Let's move the Chaos of the Skies over here. Let's move the... Actually, we'll need to get you repaired. I forgot about that. Get you repaired. You have literally not taken any damage. I don't think you have either. Oh! A new age dawns! 15 base research, 2 spies available, 5 unrest per city, 1 unrest per town. Also, it looks like Dagger Guild. Hold on. Diplomatically, I think it's at war with somebody else. Not yeah. Sicklington? Oh my god, there it's it's like everyone is going for the jugular here. Right, well as soon as Chaos of the Skies arrives which will be quite soon, uh, we're going to go for it. We're absolutely going to go for it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That, that happens super quickly. Right. This is where things are going to start to get dicey. Let's also get some more uh, field station research garrison. I don't want to scrap that. Garrison, is that important to maintenance cost? 20 unrest. Uh, is there much unrest yet? There's no unrest anyway. Let's get a field station. Sure. Uh, did I send that? No, I didn't send it back. Let's get the Strider over here. Should be able to move pretty darn fast. And then let's move everyone in. A trade treaty from Drassil. Um, I'm gonna say yes, because I like money. And that's gonna give me more money. I rate money. I rate money very, very highly. Okay, it's time to move out. It's time to move out. Let's go. Sufficient supply to attack, sufficient supply to return. I think we are ready to do this. I don't want to... 
I don't want to amass more uh, more troops or anything like that. I think I just want to go. Uh, whilst, whilst I'm waiting for that to happen, let's go and get another ship built. We'll get another Chaos of Disguise. In fact, I could almost afford two Chaos of Disguise. Um, do I want to change it slightly? I tell you what I probably do. Let's go open design, Chaos of the Skies. I probably could use some of these auto builds, but I don't particularly care. Um, we've got enough coal storage, but I really don't feel like I've got enough ammo. Yeah, let's remove this module. Get an ammo store here. That's good. Service ceiling is 166, which is a little bit less than I anticipated, but it's fine. Oops. Uh, X is the phrase that I was looking for. There we go. And yeah, so that's going to lower the service ceiling quite a bit and also bump the cost up by a little bit. Uh, that's maybe a bit dangerous mode. But you know what? We're going we're gonna to give it a punt. We're going to call it Chaos of the Skies, MK2. Brilliant. Let's get that saved and let's get that built. It's going to cost us more money, but I think it's worth it. I think it's absolutely worth it. Uh, Fleet Academy, 10% uh, weapon accuracy and fire rate. I'm going to absolutely build that. I mean, it's going to pretty much wipe us out in terms of cash, but I think that's I think that's a worthwhile thing to do. Uh, in the meantime, let's take Dagger Guild. Also, what's this mad scientist nonsense? Oh, I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out later. Right, I don't think... Automatic combat resolution defeat. Really? No, I'm going to fight manually. Of course I'm going to fight manually. Now, we can't move into the... Can't move into the enemy's area. This is where we want to be, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, this this should be fine. Uh, there are some defenses here, I imagine. I say that. Let's start. Yeah, there are definitely some defenses here. It's not much, and I tell you what. Thing is, let's take both of these and just move them like absolutely like out of harm's way up here i think you need to kind of be moved back i really perhaps should not have deployed you because we're only going to see damage to our yeah no you need to move down there we go move down yeah so unfortunately we're going to have to endure, endure quite a lot of quite a lot of fire but that's okay we've got we've got the we've got the equipment ready for this um as long as we're able to sustain we should be fine and also i think i might be able to flip around here and avoid most of the fire anyway oh did we collide with something i don't like that there we go move around over there Okay, and let's also move you around here. There we go. Uh, move, flip, go. Right, I don't think it's actually made a tremendous difference. I think we might still be... Oh god, that's a problem. That's a problem. That might be a very, very significant problem, actually. Yeah, so that ship has officially lost command. Um, we've lost it. That's that's less than ideal. Um, we might not be able to take this city. We might not be able to take this city. Uh, we've got ammo. Uh, there is a fire on board. And we don't have a way to put out the fire. Can we flee? I think we might need to flee. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. There's definitely stuff in the city that is no target available. I know there's no target available. Accident in the Bombay. Yeah, you could say that. Okay. Ooh. So yeah, we do have oh my lordy. Run away. Run away. Run away. Yeah, so right, we do have vision of what's going on here, but it's clearly like it's a we need to we need to come back with uh we need to come back with a whole bunch of additional stuff. Right. Surrendered, surrendered. Did we Yeah, we didn't lose our we didn't lose our we didn't lose our ships. We'll fly we'll fly back here. I don't think that we can repair at INSA. It is worth noting that is that is quite strong. That is 
very, very strong. It's strong relative to what we what we have. And to be fair, uh, the Dagger Guild is probably investing very, very strongly in uh, defenses right now because they have literally nothing else. So that is worth noting. Anyway, um, Chaos of the Skies level 2 is coming on board. That's going to be a little bit stronger. It's not going to be much stronger. Yeah, they're doing repairs now to that. That's fine. Uh, right, let's send everyone back to... Send everyone back to Orbital Potato proper. Orbital Potato City proper, that is. Anything else that we want to build? Port, garrison, field station. I think I maybe do care about an extra field station. That would be nice for, for research purposes. And we'll see if we can get you repaired. It's this one, isn't it? 400 bucks. Oh my lordy. Okay. Uh, defensive pact from Hy... What? Not a flipping chance, my dude. You seed Ionessa. No. Reject? Absolutely no chance. You think I'm ever gonna be... You think I'm ever gonna be in agreement for something like that? Also, what's this mad scientist? Uh, her robotic creations roam the countryside menacing the town folk. Well, rather you than me, buddy. I'd rather you be in that situation than I would be. Uh, which is fine. Right, over to Potato City. Chaos of the Skies Mark II is almost done. Uh, this place... Can we send a spy over here? Yeah, let's send a spy over to Kast Kastovic. Because we can still take that. Or we could take something across the, across the skies. Um, where is this? I really have no idea. No, I'm not paying tribute to anyone just because I lost a fight. I, I didn't even lose a fight. I just retreated. Good jeez, Louise. Uh, right. Chaos of the Skies Mark II. We'll see what's, we'll see what's in here. We'll see what's in here. We'll see if we can try and get a little bit of, uh, a little bit of intel. It's been pillaged already. I mean, it really, it's, you know what? I'm just going to send the Chaos Mark II. Sufficient supply to move. Yeah, you know what? We can we can do it. Trade treaty for Summerton. Yep, let's do it. Absolutely. I'm always into trade treaties. I really think that given that I'm pursuing a free trade policy, um, we need to we need to invest in as much as possible. Right. Enough for a safe return as much as possible. Um, we'll send as much as we possibly can. Oh my lordy, that looks like an absolute an absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy unit, that is. View City. Holy cow. Look at, look at that beast. Look at that beast. Okay. You know what? I don't think... I don't think that we can actually take it. I don't think that we can take it. True Sulfur from Dagger Guild. Uh, I'm going to reject that. What I'm going to say, let's go into Diplomacy. Let's go into Diplomacy and see if we can try and make peace. Your current offer, yep. Um, demand Tribute. Demonstrate Submission. Uh, no, I don't demonstrate Submission. I receive 10% of their income. Uh, no, I don't want to offer a city. Uh... Research Treaty? Truce needs to improve before that. Yeah, sure. No, they're not- they're not likely to... They're not likely to be happy. But you know what? We'll make it. Excellent. Wonderful. And we did it. And now we've got a truce with these guys. So, happy days. Research treaty from Abton Days. Also, Hy Hyporia. We got a trade treaty. I mean, if I was to declare war. Non-aggression pact, non-aggression pact. See... Uh, Leoria here. I wonder if... I wonder if, um... I wonder if we try and upgrade our defensive pact. No. I do want to... I do want to try and... I do want to try and get on better terms with a couple of people. Uh, research treaty? Sure. You know what? I will actually take a research treaty. I don't know where... 
have some dazes to stand there. I would love to see somebody try and attack uh, Kastovic. That's going to be marvelous. It's going to be really, really great. What's going on here? We're recharging the supplies there. That's fine. Striders looking good. Uh, Orbital Potato City is currently building a fleet academy. Should probably be repairing that and then that, then the fleet academy. Yeah. Okay, good. Downgrade defensive pact and non-aggression pact. Trade treaty and research treaty. I mean, that's fine with me. I don't particularly care about downgrading the treaty. Uh, I mean, we're still going to have to deal with the fact that we're pretty much alone here. Um, do I have a relationship with Drassel? I got a trade treaty. But my reputation is going to decrease uh, because we've got a trade treaty. I don't love that vibe. I don't love that vibe at all. I need to get better weapons as well. That is very, very clear to me. I also need to find, like, another city that is weak enough to attack. Uh, Kastovic is, is, yeah, is, is small. View city, it's, it's, yeah, we don't have much detail on it. It's small, but it's, it's gonna be... It's gonna be problematic. Let's build a spy network, sure. Okay. That didn't work. We had a chance of building a spy network. It didn't happen. Uh, Sticklington. Where's Sticklington? Where the heck is Sticklington? Oh, it's up top. Uh, trade treaty? Yeah, I thought I already had a trade treaty with Sticklington. That's fine. Ionessa, any chance of another upgrade here? Not really. Uh, I mean, we can build some additional defenses here. I feel like that might not be the craziest idea in the world. Who's Sticklington at war with? Abton Days. Okay, that's good to know. This is honest. This thing is insane. This thing is absolutely insane. It is absolutely bonkers. That that spy has really been. Uh, it's been a bit of a bit of an issue. Uh, and you here? I mean, I can st I can break the treaty. Yeah, it's still gonna it's still gonna give me a negative five rep. I do want to insult somebody, though. Free trade. Excellent. That's going to give us a tremendous a tremendous amount of additional cash. Uh, let's get rockets next, though. Yeah. Sure. Advanced explosives. That sounds excellent to me. We'll do that. Right. I mean, Arctum. We don't have anything. We don't have anything with Arctum. And we've got the opportunity, perhaps, to maybe do a little bit of damage here. What if we do... It's over at Leonin. We can't send our spy over here. I really... I feel like I'm, I'm, I've sort of hemmed myself in here, which is a bit problematic, but... What's the video game say about uh, it's weaker? It is weaker. I don't have any. I don't have any city busting. Don't have any city busting stuff. There we go. Yeah. Oh, wait, what? This is controlled by... Oh, this is controlled by Leoria. Or, or, or La Laronia. Okay, all right. Well, excellent. That's... There's, I can't... I literally can't attack it then. I literally can't attack because we've got a, a non-aggression pact. Did that change hands recently? Oh, okay, whatever. Um. Well, let's go back. Let's go back then. Revert, revert, revert. That's A-OK -okay with me. Uh... Da -da 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 -da. Corio, what's your what's your tank like? I would love to send I'd love to send these flipping things around, but I just can't. I need to attack somebody. I'm feeling the need to attack somebody, and it's just not working. Right, at uh, Drassel, you know what, Drassel, you're you're easy pickings, aren't you? I say you're easy pickings. You've got two cities that are directly next to mine. Uh, let's send you an insult. 
Excellent. Make ultimatum. I'm going to say make ultimatum. I'm going to say threats of war. Cancel trade treaty. I'm going to say demand a town or a city. We're going to demand the smallest one. Chance they will accept absolute zero. Yep. There we go. They ignored your insult and gain five grievances against you. Well, I'm going to declare war anyway, frankly. I really don't care. Your trade treaty with Leoria has become invalid. Oh, Abton Days has taken it over. Well, that's cool. I, uh, I don't need that. That's fine. Ceasefire with Dagger Gill has expired. That is fine. So Leoria did have... Oh my goodness. Leoria is dead, mate. Leoria is dead. Um, we are going to enforce the threat. There's no chance that I'm backing down at all. We are going to be in, uh, in war. In war state in just a second. Supplies are going to build up. I need to build... I need to build... Um, I need to get more units that give me... That give me more supplies. Uh, build building. Keep of crowns. Does anything here give me... Give me supplies? Um, Sentinel, keep of crowns. Defensive structure 17. Defensive structure 17 seems absolutely perfect. Sure. Excellent. Let's do it. Defensive structure 17 is being built. Cool. Right. We will go to war. Enforce threat, minus five reputation. Let's do it. Okay, so we should be at war with these guys. Yep. I'm okay with this. Uh, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. There we go. How long before we... Sufficient supply to attack, insufficient supply to return. So we need to we need to defeat them if we're gonna if we're gonna go in for the kill here. Right. I would like to maybe, just maybe, yep, go in. Uh let's also start work on another start work on another uh what's it called? Chaos Disguise Mark II. I have no idea if it's still gonna be the appropriate ship for what we're trying to do, but I don't think that it really hurts to have as many of these ships in uh contention as possible. Ionessa has fully recovered from the war. You love to see it. That is brilliant. All right, let's let's go to war. This is the first time that we're going to be going into combat with our Chaos of Disguise uh, level two, uh, but also with like multiple ships at the same time. Right, automatic combat resolution victory. I feel like I shouldn't do that. Let's do fight manually. Let's try and bait them into... There we go. There we go. Pretty much, pretty much right there. Oh, look at that. They literally surrendered. Wow. That was easy, wasn't it? Uh, gentle takeover? Sure. Let's do... Oh, we can't. Insufficient supply to move. It's unfortunate. Uh, gentle takeover. Yeah, that's fine. Right, let's split these two ships up. Advanced rockets is completed. Excellent. Um, there's another type of ship that I want to build before we get to before we get to the end of this episode here. Hold on, was this an either or? Oh my goodness, I just spent half an hour um, faffing around between the two of those. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I would really like to build wooden heavy armor shipyard. Yeah, let's build that actually. I didn't see that that was an either or. That's fine though. Right, so what's this? What's this ship? We have... Oh, we've got uh, Recall the Spy here. Although, that being said, Act in Days, we've got a trade treaty. Yeah, Recall the Spy. And yeah, you go over here. You go to Phobo. See what we can do. That organ market, disabled due to ongoing takeover. 2,000 for defeating a biological monster nest. Oh, I can't wait to defeat a biological monster nest. Okay, I think this is good, though. This is good. This is good. Defense is maintained. Fleet maintenance. City upgrades. Yeah, we do have a couple of... 
cancel tribute. Uh, reject. They should still be paying me. Receiving 10% of their income. Yeah, they can't. They can't say no unless they... Incoming feet. Drassel to Ionessa. Where is this? I mean, that's fine, really. That is fine. I mean, there's no way that they get there in time. One week, one day. Surely not. Oh, really? Automatic defeat. Uh, I did build a new... I mean, I did build a new... Uh, I mean, I I can decide to transfer crew, target ship. I mean, there's only so much that we can really do here. I think we just kind of let the... Yeah, let the... Let the game do what it wants to do. So we could take direct control. Uh, I don't want to take direct control, though. I want to launch a uh, target ship. Yeah, target that ship. Like, all of these target this ship. Because we might land a few good hits. And I did build that extra building, remember? So that's good. Right. Target ship. Let's do it. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, looks like the other ship is trying to flee. Oh, what a... Oh, what a marvelous defense, everyone. It's not over yet, obviously, but... We don't have an unlimited amount of ammo, but... Oh, look at that. Oh, the swine. The swine. They're crumbling. Oscillating up and down. Look at that. I mean, we can't really hit at all, but... Oh, I think that one's gone. Okay. Uh... <laughs> I think we've won. I think. I think we've won. I'm not quite sure, though. I <laughs> I'm really, really not sure. I mean, that that's resting on a floating island, for goodness sake. They're still being peppered with the occasional shot. I'm not convinced that it's going to make a tremendous difference. Oh, there we go. That fire's got to do him in, surely. Surely. Oh, some poor soul managed to extinguish it. Yeah. Now, res retreat. Resign. There is... There is no chance. There is no chance now. You must... You must admit defeat. Surely. Okay, so these buildings apparently have... Um, Unlimited ammo? I didn't think they did, but apparently they do. Oh, very cool. Either way, uh, yeah, these, this was this was a tremendously a tremendously decent operation. These aren't under command, but they're still mine, obviously. Wow, that was incredible. That was incredible. I was very very happy with that. Okay, uh, you know what? I would love to. I'd love to move up to here and see what we've got going on. I really would like to sufficient supply to attack. Let's wait a little bit, and then let's move in. Let's move in. Diplomatic declaration. Uh, okay. I'm happy to welcome the delegation there. Right, now let's move up. Let's move our entire operation up this way. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty certain that we're going to be able to take them out very, very easily. I don't think that Phobo is going to... Uh, I will take a trade offer from Dagger Guild. That's fine. I don't think that Phobo is going to present to us a huge problem, given that I just took out the entire Drassel fleet. You never know. Uh, automatic resolution uh, is victory, to be honest. 
I'm actually happy to accept an automatic resolution there. Uh, the reason being is that it's at night and I don't really want to deal with a, a, a night fight. We're going to gentle take over you. We'll see what we've got going on here. Excellent. Man, this feels good. This feels good. This feels very, very good indeed. Still haven't managed to take out a capital building yet, but I mean, you know, what can you expect? It's, it is what it is. Right. Cafem. Cafem. Can we go to can we go to Kaffem? We might want to go to Kaffem. Drassel. Let's send a spy to Drassel. Send our second one. Dagger Guild. I mean, we could. It's heavily pillaged, isn't it? We could go to. We could go to Drassel. To be fair, I feel like maybe I've got the firepower to actually to take Drassel out. Can I build a? I can't build anything. Yeah, they got a lot of. They got a lot of. Quite heavy defensive defensive structures, which is kind of terrifying, actually. Anything at INS that we can build? The garrison, NEM, field station for extra research, market, and the port for extra money. We do like that. This is here. Market. Aha! Heavy wooden armor, shipyard, and something else that I didn't, uh, that I didn't see. Right. Police station and a spy agency. That might be kind of nice. I also got better rockets, didn't I? Flamethrowers? I mean, flamethrowers seem pretty cool. I doubt we're going to get to them, but... Invincible. Oh, that's the name of a ship. Oh, I see. You know what? I want to I wanna challenge him. I want to challenge him. I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him on. Let's go... View City. Build spy network, steal supplies. Ferment unrest. Sure. Okay, whatever. My spy was my spy network was caught. Let's go and see. Let's go and see what Drassel. Let's go and see what Drassel's made of. As I say, this is a this is a big fight. I mean, obviously, it is a capital. It could go. It could go dangerously. Um, but we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna fight manually. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to reserve. Activate. There we go. Okay. Good. I think we're ready to go. Get rid of that reserve list. And let's move you into attack range. Oh, no, no, no. I didn't mean to collide. Didn't mean to collide there. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. That's unfortunate. Well, you may have just been taken out already. Well, you win some, you lose some, I suppose. Beautiful. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Yeah, definitely need to get better at doing um, at doing city attacks. I probably should have like a siege ship, something which is like defended from the bottom. As opposed to just what I have at the moment, which is ships that are very, very good at combat from the, from the skies, but are very uh, poor elsewhere. Right, let's get you to go over here, and we'll get you to go over here as well. Right. Yeah, I think that you can confidently say that, that ship has been taken out. Whether or not it is dead yet, we will we will see in a second. Right, move you forward ever so slightly. And let's actually get you down here. Like engaging properly. There we go. Keep you above. Yeah, nice. Beautiful. Uh, flip. Yeah. I did say flip, didn't I? There we go. Nice. And let's get you down a little bit, a little bit further. Okay. Let's bring the walker across. No reason not to, I don't think. Um, this thing still can't fly, so no chance that that's going to change. And now we just need to hope that we don't sustain too much damage before we before we wipe out the enemy. Now, if Chaos of the Sky dies, that's going to be very, very disappointing. Um, we don't really have a repair station on board. My, yeah, I'm still going at them. I'm still going at them here. 
Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I think the bomb base have been destroyed on Chaos of the Skies. Let's go. Oh no, actually no, tell the line. They're still there. I know there's fire. I know there's fire, but we're winning. We're winning. I know there's... <laughs> this ship is entirely surrounded by fire. The crew are dying. As long as we, as long as we win the fight, I don't care. Okay, we've lost the strider, striker thing, apparently. Okay, ammunition's about to blow. Good. If it blows, that makes my life easier. Right. Um, can we maybe not waste time here? There we go. Nice. And there we go. Okay. Um, Risible was destroyed. That's fine? I guess um, we got Drassel though. That's kind of lovely. In fact, more than lovely. That is incredible news. Phobo is now ready for a small shipyard, which is actually allows us to build uh, airships and land ships there, which would be brilliant. Build a field station as well. Uh, but for the most part, I mean, look at our look at our land. We've taken over. We've taken over a tremendous area. Um, slowly but surely, it's happened. Uh, I like that. I like that a lot. Everybody else seems to have just exchanged territory. I'm one of the only people that has, you know, confidently, confidently gained it, which is nice. Uh, but yeah, this is it. This is it. I am, I am madly, madly, madly in love with this game. This is a fantastic, fantastic, fantastic title. Uh, I really am. I really am an absolutely monstrous fan, and it's just gotten better with the diplomacy update and uh, on all of that good stuff. Uh, so yeah, if you'd like to see more, do let me know in the comments down below. Airships conquer the skies. It's brilliant. It's great. It's fantastic. I hope you want to subscribe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you ever so much for watching. My name, of course, has been Open Potato. Check out the Patreon if you're interested in helping make videos like this possible. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.